one thing you've been consistent on uh, is that without fiscal stimulus, things will go downhill. The economy will retrench further, incomes will fall, layoffs will increase, spending will drop, and more small businesses will fail. It's this slippery slope. So does it matter what the Fed says or does with regard to QE, with regard to its economic projections, if Congress can't get past their differences and can only agree on, say, the bare minimum, funding the government, but not much more? Well, you know, it's interesting, Scarlett. When you look at the uh, high-frequency data, like the retail sales data we got today, um, <clears throat> clearly reflects the fact that the economy is losing momentum, if not weakening. Uh, the employment data, unemployment claims over the last couple of weeks show further evidence of this. Um, the only engine left to keep the economy going that the Fed can influence is housing. And uh, we did have good mortgage app numbers this today. Um, I think that, uh, you know, the Fed will, will, or at least has in its power, uh, to use the, uh, its portfolio purchases uh, to indicate that it'll, it'll buy longer uh, maturity bonds uh, as a means to push mortgage rates down and to, uh, to at least keep the mortgage or the, the uh, housing sector alive. Uh, that can take up some of the slack for the other sectors that are weakening. Scott, that longer maturity focus hasn't come into play in December. The guidance hasn't really made it any more clear as to whether it will come January. Do you think this pushes 10-year yields above 1% at the moment? Well, you know, Caroline, it's interesting. If the Fed doesn't say something soon about uh, modifying its purchase program, uh, and, uh, you know, the, the, the stimulus package does come, uh, then I think that, that we are vulnerable to further rise in uh, long-term rates, uh, maybe you, you know, between one and a quarter and one and a half percent. Uh, the reality is that uh, any increase in rates is going to be self-defeating uh, for the recovery. Uh, the, as I mentioned before, housing, which has played a big role in this recovery, uh, you know, we'll probably see a market slowing with a backup in rates like that, and uh, we're likely to see um, uh, a decline in rates again next year, even if we did get a backup in the near term.